This training video was developed at the Statistical Services Centre at the University of Reading. It's part of a set of resources aimed primarily at researchers. Double data entry is a well-established method for finding errors in data entry. The data are entered by one person and then re-entered into a different data file by another person. The resulting data files are then compared and any discrepancies are checked against the original questionnaire. Corrections are then made to both data files. CS Pro includes a data compare tool to assist with the comparison of the two data files. Compare data can be run from the Tools menu in CS Pro or, alternatively, you can open it directly from the Windows Start menu. You first need to supply the name of the dictionary file, in our case Baseline Survey DCF, and click Open. On the next screen, you can choose which items to compare. For this exercise, we will choose all items. So we will click the Baseline Survey checkbox at the very top to select everything. For larger surveys, you may want to run the comparison in stages, perhaps one record at a time. We next click the Run button. We need to supply the names of the two data files, which are referred to as the input file and the reference file. The listing file will contain the results of the comparison. For the comparison method, we recommend the second option. Both methods will compare all the items, but if there are extra cases in the reference file, these will only be reported with the second method. For the comparison order, we recommend using indexed order. Assuming your questionnaires are sorted by the identification item, this will make it easier and quicker to locate the appropriate questionnaire when it comes to making the corrections. Click OK to get the results. Our comparison has located errors in two of the cases. It has also found a case in the reference file that is not in the input file, and a case in the input file which is not in the reference file. For questionnaire 1, 2, uh, village 1, household 2, the number of economically active people is 1 in the input file and 3 in the reference file. We check the questionnaire and find the correct value is 1. Pit latrine is 2 for no in the input file and 1 for yes in the reference file. Again, we find from the questionnaire that the value in the input file is the correct one. In the data for village 1 household 12, the, dis the discrepancy is in the activity record and the 3 in the brackets indicates that it's the third row of the data. The activity code is 6 in the input file and 23 in the reference file. From the questionnaire we find the value of 23 is correct. When there are cases missing from each file as we have here, this can mean there is a mistake in the identification. In this example, the case for household 8 in village 5 is missing from the reference file and the case for household 8 in village 6 is, is missing from the input file. A check through the questionnaires shows there is no household 8 in village 6. So in the reference file, we need to change the village code from 6 to 5 for this particular case. We load the data entry system and open the input file which, in our example, is baseline survey one .dat. The correction we need here is in the case for household 12 in village 1. So we double click this case in the list in the left hand panel to display the data. We use page down to move to page 3 
where we find the activities. We change the activity code for the third activity from 6 to 23. There is nothing else to change here, so we click the stop button or choose mode stop. We save the change by clicking finish, then click yes to accept this case. We then open the reference file to make the other corrections. This is baseline survey 2.dat. There are two corrections to make to the case for household 2 in village 1. So we display the data for that case. We change the number of economically active people to 1. And on page 2, we change pit latrine to 2. We press stop to finish this modification and finish yes to save that change. Now we need to change the village code for the last case from 6 to 5. We open that case and change the village code, making sure to move to the next item so village code turns green. As before, we stop the modification and save the change. But this time, because we have changed the identification, CS Pro gives us a warning message to this effect. Press F8, you may need to press it twice, to clear the message. Then yes to accept the case. Notice in the left hand side, the identification has changed. We rerun the comparison to make sure we haven't missed anything. We go back to compare data and do the same comparison as before. This time we find there are no differences. It's useful to rerun the comparison until you find no differences. You may have introduced other errors while making the corrections, for instance. Also, in the first comparison run, there would have been no checks on the case for Household 8 in Village 5, as this was then identified as a case mismatch. Double data entry works on the principle that two people are unlikely to make the same data entry mistakes. The method does not claim to find all data entry errors, but often finds a substantial number and is still one of the best and easiest data entry checking procedures available. Some researchers don't like this method, as they say it takes too much time and is expensive. However, working with poor quality, error-ridden data is even more expensive in the long term. If you're spending time and money on research, it is worth spending a little more to help ensure good quality data. Remember, errors in data can lead to errors in results and conclusions, and as a researcher it is your responsibility to do all you can to minimise errors.